Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing the Durban Pastel Shades Paint Pan set and also giving a short demo of the same. Towards the end of the video, I will paint a macaron using these and the Derwent Intense paints. This set is considered to be complementary to the Derwent Intense sets and the metallic paint sets. As you can see, this is a compact portable set consisting of 12 soft pastel shades, a mini water brush, a sponge and a mixing palette. Just like Intense, these can be layered up to create opaque effect without affecting the previously dried layers. I have already uploaded a detailed video featuring the Derwent Intense uh, set. If you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and watch it. I am uh, placing the link on the screen right now. It would be interesting to see how the vibrant Intense paints work along with the pastel shades. I will be using the Derwent watercolor paper to test this out. This is a 300 GSM hot pressed watercolor paper. Let's start by making some paint swatches. When used with minimal water, you can get opaque uh, gouache like effects with these paints. Or if you uh, want a very pale uh, light wash like in watercolor, then you can dilute them with more water. I'll be switching over to time lapse and some music now, but I'll be back in a minute with the voiceover and a painting. So this is how the shades look like on paper. I painted these uh, macarons on the Derwent Intense paper. For the first macaron I used the flamingo pink. For the second one I used the orchid pink and the lavender. And for the third one I used this mint shade along with the green from the Intense. And for the last one I used these two shades. Now let's learn how to paint this pink macaron using the pastel uh, paints and the Intense paints. First, I am going to add a very light layer of the flamingo pink. Try to work quickly while the surface is still wet because once dry, it's uh, difficult to move the edges. As I mentioned earlier, since I am using a hot pressed watercolor paper, this has a smooth surface. Now I am going to take a slightly thicker paint for the darker tones. Now that the initial layers are done, Let's wait for them to dry and move on to the lower shell of the macaron. Here again I am following the same steps as I did previously. Make sure to add the darker tone while the surface is still wet. This is to ensure that we have a smooth transition from light to dark tones. I am sure most of you would have tried macarons. If not, please try them because they are extremely delicious. I am adding very diluted pinks towards the center. Since I need darker tones to mark the textures on the outer edge of the shell, I am going to use the Derwent Intense paints for the same. Also observe that I am using a thinner brush here. I am going to add some cracks onto the shells to make them look more realistic. For the highlights, I am using the white paint from the Intensit. For the cream or the macaron filling, I am using the pastel yellow and also a little bit of white. Now adding some more textures with these dark tones from the Intense set.
using a white gel pen wherever I want to get prominent white highlights. I will leave all the material links in the description box below. You can follow me on Instagram for uh, quick reels and many more such drawings and paintings. Once everything is dry, I'll add the shadow. So I'm first wetting the paper and adding a grey from the pastel set. I also mixed in a grey from the ink ten set as well. I think I messed up the shadow a bit because it took me uh, some time to mix in all the colors and by then the previous layer had already dried. Here you can see me adding hints of pink for the reflection. As you all know, I am most comfortable with the dry medium, especially colored pencils and I am not that good at watercolors. But here's a closer look of the painting and I think it turned out pretty well. I would love to know your thoughts on this as well in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching.